Hi guys and welcome to Rufus Doofus. Chico here and uh, we got our our new um, power converter today and uh, we're gonna open it up see what's in the box I cut the tape there when you weren't looking and we got a packing slip packing material Oop, there's a converter okay here we go and some directions alrighty so here's what we got we have an IntelliPower and it's made by Progressive Dynamics and it's a very compact unit all self-contained um, this is a the 60 amp version um, the one that's in the in the motor home is nowhere near that uh, it's, I think it's like 35 I'm not sure but we'll we'll check it uh, as we go um, and the goal is to install this now I just wanted to let you know that when I ordered this, I knew that they made a direct conversion uh, for a new converter that would modify the one that was in there. Actually, removing the one that was in there, but it it should uh, have slipped in very easily the whole nine yards, but it was a lower amperage. Um, the reason I went with this uh, 60 amp was because... I plan on having a larger battery bank and um, the lower the amperage the longer it takes the, char uh, the converter to charge the batteries. So when you're making your decision just remember that the lower amperage is going to take longer than a higher amperage converter to charge batteries. Now the old converter uh, that came with the rig uh, they don't put very good ones in there uh, was not a smart converter number one so um, it put out a constant voltage which was not <coughs> conducive to charging a battery correctly or extending its life um, so this converter will put out a uh, bulk charge uh, at a higher voltage and it will charge the batteries more quickly and then when it reaches a certain point it reduces the charge so that we don't boil the batteries out and then when it gets uh, at that point and completes that charge it goes into a uh, trickle charge or a storage charge or a flow charge whatever you want to call it and then at that point it monitors the monitors the batteries and every 21 hours for 15 minutes this thing gives out the bulk charge of 14.4 volts which what that does is uh, as the battery is sitting there and not being used no draw on it the uh, chemical conversion that, that, that makes the power causes a, a lead sulfate to build up and the it settles and what that boost of power does is it creates um, bubbling in the battery okay it's, it starts to boil it a little bit for a short period of time agitates it and allows for the charger to reconvert that back into the lead in the cells so that's a nice little feature for this so you can you could be at a campground and um, you're plugged in and this thing is monitoring the batteries constantly you could go away for a couple of days let's say you're parked somewhere you don't want to disconnect uh, and you go you know visit out of town near the campground you're gone for a few days every 21 hours this thing will do that so that you don't end up uh, not charging the batteries efficiently and also it will not boil them over the other charger didn't know anything it didn't know if the batteries were discharged or charged or what state they were in just put out that constant voltage um, and it ends up ruining your batteries uh, a lot of people park these things plug them in for you know storage at their homes uh, on uh, 115 volt coming in just enough to run the converter and that thing is just charging and charging and charging and charging and it just destroys the batteries within a year this thing can make a battery last much much longer you know three to seven years no problem I would imagine and my batteries that I am putting in I, I already did a conversion from the 112 volt to two deep cycle six volt golf cart batteries so they have a bit more storage capacity than what was in there originally the further down the battery gets charged, you're not supposed to discharge them beyond 50%. Um, 
the longer it's going to take to recharge them, even at the proper voltage. Now, when you don't have the proper voltage, it could take, you know, 24 hours to bring those batteries back uh, to a full charge. And what that means is that, especially, not so much on, on, on shore power, but when you're running your generator, you have to run your generator for much longer than you would with a charger like this. This charge is going to realize that the batteries are in a discharge state and it's going to crank up a lot of voltage and amperage to get those batteries back up. So it's going to cut down on generator time, which is great. It's going to save your batteries, which is great. I mean, you can't beat it. Um, this is the way to go. If you have a coach, I would recommend that uh, we uh, or that you upgrade to a, a, an intelligent charger. Not necessarily this one, but this one here by po Progressive Dynamics is uh, nice. They make different models, and um, it should be a fairly easy job to put it in. So enough about that. Now, this, this model has a AC cord built into it. Okay, that's one, one cord. And then on this side here, we have where the battery is going to plug into. Okay, so we got our negative and positive terminals here. And that, in turn, is going to go into the distribution board on the um, uh, DC side of the coach. So I have looked at the directions here, and they're not great. They're really not great. Uh, they actually suck. So I did a little research online. And I noticed that there was really no good explanation of how to hook this up. And if I'm not mistaken, this should be a very simple solution, no matter what's in there. I mean, we've got our AC power to power this, okay? This one is on a plug, uh, and the one that's in there originally may be, uh, will not have a plug. More than likely, it will be hooked in directly uh, to the AC power supply of the coach. That means AC from the generator or from, uh, from shore power. The, the instructions I saw, um, some of them were, were, were so detailed that they became confusing. And um, I think if we stay simple, if we just stay real simple, AC, power converter, DC output, forget about all the other crap. I think we can install this very quickly. So um, I want to tell you that the area that I have to work in is, is not the best. It's in the hallway. Um, it's also very dark because I don't have any lights available to me. Everything is disconnected. And there's not enough light coming in from natural sources outside. So I'm going to do my best to video this. It might be broken up a little bit. Um, but as we go, I'll try and piece it together so that it makes some sense. And again, I'm going to try and keep it very simple. Um, in my case, I know that my converter is going to be hardwired in. So uh, rather than um, follow the directions that I saw online, which became very, very confusing, I'm just going to make it real simple and take the AC power sources there, remove the old converter, I hope, and actually put in a receptacle so I won't have to cut this wire like a lot of people have done and uh, fish it into weird places and things like that and make crazy connections that really didn't look like they were that good to me and involved a ton of work and very very confusing from what I saw if you disagree with me let me know if you have a better idea let me know but I think this is gonna work great so um, Providing uh, the receptacle is also going to make this very easy to plug in and remove if I have to. It'll only be unplugged and disconnect these two connections. Then I can pull this right out with no problem. So at this point, I don't know exactly how I'm going to do it. Bear with me. And uh, if you have any suggestions, please let me know. But I think that the way I'm going to do it is going to be the simplest of all the methods I've seen on the internet, which by the way, there is not a lot out there on how to install one of these. <clears throat> I don't know why, but there just isn't. So 
hopefully this will answer a lot of questions for a lot of people. I did notice on this unit that they didn't send me the pendant. And what the pendant is, is um, like a display or monitor that plugs into this unit here and uh, allows you to override it or monitor what's going on at any particular time with the charger. Um, I'm going to have to call them and tell them that it wasn't in there. So that's it for now, guys. Uh, uh, bear with me. This video is probably going to be uh, either very long or broken up into segments, and I think maybe we'll break it up into, you know, part one, two, and three, or how ma however many parts it takes. So just wanted to show you my new little toy, the IntelliPower 9200 series. That's the latest one. And this is uh, uh, the uh, Progressive Dynamics, okay, available online by from many sources. And uh, this is the 60 amp model, which I hope will work very well for us. That's it for now. See you soon.